The Birmingham Museum of Art is well known for its Eugenia Woodward hit collection of 18th century French paintings and decorative arts. We will stroll through this gallery to enjoy beautiful portraits, furnishings, tapestries, and decorative accessories. Dr. David Mose, the curator of painting and sculpture and graphic arts, will now take us on a tour of the 19th century American galleries. So in the American galleries, the centerpiece is a monumental landscape by Albert Bierstein, the Domes of Yosemite from the 1860s, a operatically scaled work that served the purpose of revealing to Americans the bounty and splendor, the majesty of the new continent that America had, had just acquired. Paintings like uh, Domes of Yosemite toured to various cities and people would pay an entrance fee to view the painting in the manner of a movie. It's almost, uh, one should think about it as a, as a proto-movie in the late 19th century. And the detailing in it is, is awesome. Certainly no camera can capture the meticulous uh, detail and awesome splendor of this painting. The sun appears to be burning out of the painting uh, like a celestial orb and in a sense not just uh, metaphorically but almost visually that the light from that painting seems to cast a glow across this entire gallery. Beside this painting are two other works by Bierstadt that uh, contextualize his efforts as a painter to capture uh, the splendor of the Yosemite Valley. Other notable objects would be uh, the collection of Remington bronzes that the museum has, a superb collection. The Mountain Man uh, shows one of these fabled western figures negotiating the mountain impasses. Uh, coming through the Rye, an ensemble portrait, perhaps uh, Remington's one of his most famous images cast in bronze of the four uh, riders. And these uh, objects not only are visible uh, in this landscape gallery, but also in the, the Western gallery uh, that the also on display here. Uh, in terms of the collections here at the Birmingham Museum, certainly the American galleries are outstanding, set off by the monumental Bierstadt, but really that's just the herald of a superb collection, a collection that is uh, preeminent in this region and I think indicative of 
the interest that uh, collectors have had in uh, American works.